What's up guys, welcome back to Virtual Reality. In this video, I show you the difference between Oculus Quest connected via cable, Oculus Link <laughs> to the PC and the Oculus Rift S. So some people say the Oculus Rift is dead because we can connect the Quest to PC. But is that true? I will answer that in this video. Also, I give recommendation who should buy the Quest and who should buy the Rift S. My name is Voodoo, you can find everything about VR and AI on this channel. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgoes VR, Oppermann Events, Cyronix, Andy the Felser VR Ambassador and Alpha Blend Interactive. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Voodoo.de Okay guys, so let's first start what are these headsets about. So normally the Oculus Quest is a um, wireless headset, wireless standalone headset that has nothing in common with a PC or a console like the PlayStation. It's fully standalone. While the Rift S is connected via a cable to the PC only. So, but now there is a functionality that's called Oculus Link. So we have a cable and the Quest can be connected to the PC and the signal is compressed and decompressed again here on the Oculus Quest. So everything that happens on your PC, the PC calculates all the graphics and stuff. So you don't have to install the games on the Quest. They are all installed on the PC and the Quest needs to be connected via a cable. So um, Oculus already said that they will improve the compression more and more. Uh, John Carmack tweeted that, but uh, we will see later how good that is. Um, you can play all Oculus games and all Steam VR games via Oculus Link. This is absolutely no problem through the cable. Then we have also a cross buy some games when you already bought some uh, games on the Oculus Quest you can play them as the PC version for free. This is not supported by all but some games. Then the system requirements they are a little bit tricky but my recommendation is to have a 1070 Ti or RTX 2060 together with a Ryzen 5 3600 or an i7 6700K. This is a very good combination for these headsets. They have the same um, requirements. So um, consider it. It also works with a 1060 but not so good. You have to lower the settings and stuff. I recommend a 1070 Ti and all the stuff that I just said. Then there are also recommendations for cables and also requirements for the cables. Oculus had the specs for the cable and it needs to be USB 3.0 or 3.1 with a minimum of 5 gigabytes per second. So you can also use adapters. If you don't have a USB-C on your motherboard or laptop, then you can use an adapter as long as it has the, rec uh, the, the specifications. So for me, I have a, a nearly seven meters um, cables. That means uh, the first one here is the anchor power line. It's 1.8 meters, it's USB-A to USB-C. And then I have an additional cable. Um, this is an active USB cable 5 meters from cable creation and I connect these both and then I have nearly 7 meters. This is awesome and in addition I have a 90 degree adapter from a Funta. Um, this is really good. It works awesome. So you can uh, put it here and you, the cable goes via uh, your shoulders back and this is really comfortable. And um, you can buy these cables on Amazon. I will put the links under the video. The tracking of the two headsets, when we compare them, the Rift S has five cameras, one, two, three, four, five, and the Quest has four cameras, one, two, three, four. But the tracking is done via these controllers for both headsets, and the tracking is the same for both headsets. I, I can't see a big difference. The tracking is good. If you hold the controllers behind your back more than two seconds, the tracking is gone. But if you go uh, to the front again, it's there. So the tracking is the same, no difference. 
the display guys, there's a big difference. So the Quest has OLED display. That means um, the pixels are lighting themselves. So um, if it's bright, the light of the pixel goes on. And if it needs black, the pixel goes completely off. So the black scenes are completely black with the Quest. The, 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 the Rift S has LC display, that means it, need, it needs backlight and the backlight is also switched on in dark scenes. So it doesn't look so good in dark scenes. It's a little bit gray or something I would say. Also the colors are better with the Oculus Quest I would say. Not much but a little bit. Then we have a dis difference in Hertz. So the Oculus Quest has 72 Hertz even with Oculus Link and the Rift S has 80 Hertz. Most people don't see the difference. I mostly also don't see the difference, but when I came, come from a dark scene into an ultra bright scene, then I have a little bit flickering, but only for two seconds or what. I can notice that a little bit, but it's nothing I would say is game breaking. It's, it's fine, it's 72 Hertz is fine. And then uh, we, I played some games like Asgard's Wrath and um, Steam VR games and I also played um, Stormland and to be honest the, 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 it's, it looks the same. There is, it's not worse because uh, it's uh, on the quest, it's the same. It looks very good on both headsets and there is no compression artifacts or something like that uh, with, the, with the quest on Oculus Link. It looks fantastic and I also didn't notice any latency. It's great. It's directly tracking. You can even move it very fast. It's the same than with the Rift S. Really, really good. So it's completely the same. Also the lenses are the same. There's no difference. <clears throat> For the comfort, there is a big difference. The Oculus Rift S is much more comfortable because we have this halo ring here. We can put it on your head and then mount it here and it's so great. It's so comfortable. It's light and uh, you can wear it for hours and hours. But the Oculus Quest is, has only this rubber thing here and you can put it on your head and it's very front heavy. So if you play like one hour, wow, it, it hurts here on, on your on your cheek, it, it, it hurts me. So there is a problem with the comfort if you want to play longer sessions with the Oculus Quest connected to your PC. You know, that's, uh, that's not a good thing. <laughs> so um, you can buy a deluxe audio strap from the HTC Vive and connect it to the Quest. Then it's comfortable, but it's 140 bucks. So you have to consider that. You also, you can also buy VR cover if you sweat a lot or if, or if you want to clean the headsets better. It's available for both headsets from VR cover. I put the link under the video if you want to buy that. The next thing is why you should better buy the Quest in this case. Um, if you have a very big or very low IPD, so the distance between your eyes. So if it's less than 62 millimeters or bigger than 70 millimeters, I would not recommend to buy the Oculus Rift S because it has no IPD slider under the headset. For the Quest, we have this little slider here and it's not a problem for people with even very low IPD like 58 or very high IPD like uh, 70, um, 74 or something like that. So if you are in the group of these persons, you should buy the Quest because of the IPD. If you want to watch movies, my recommendation between this both is the Oculus Quest because of the OLED display. Dark scenes, if you sit in the software big screen and watching TV in the, in the virtual cinema, the dark scenes are dark and not grayish like with the, with the LC display from the Rift S. If you wear glasses, very big glasses, you should go for the Rift S because the Rift S has this, this uh, button here and you can move, you can change the distance between the eyes and the lenses and so you can use very thick glasses. It's not possible with the Oculus Quest. You can wear glasses with the Oculus Quest but not too big glasses. Very important. Then for the sound, 
the difference. There is no difference. They are both not good, I would say. So they have only this little slot here where the sound comes out, here for the Quest and here for the, for the Rift S and it's not good to be honest. But you can connect your own headphone here and on the Oculus Quest on both sides. Um, there is a problem actually with uh, when you connect the Quest via Oculus Link. Um, so in multiplayer games, the microphone doesn't work with, uh, the, uh, with the Oculus Quest connected via Oculus Link. This is a problem that I and some other people have. I, I don't know if it's fixed. So, so look into the comments below. Perhaps it's fixed, then I will write it in the comments. But be careful with that. So the next thing is, uh, some people asked me, I, I want to buy the Rift S. Can I improve the tracking uh, with the old um, Rift S sensors? Or can I use my old Oculus uh, Rift touch controllers? No, that does not work. Because uh, check out the new controllers, they have this ring on the upside and they, the old one had this on the downside and the camera looks on the ring. And if you use the old controllers, it doesn't work because uh, your hands cover the sensor points. So it doesn't work also the, the um, um, this, uh, this is a completely different um, thing here with the tracking of the uh, base stations. You cannot use them to improve tracking, that doesn't work. Also, you have to consider the battery of the Oculus Quest. It's charged while you have the Oculus Link cable, but it's not unlimited. So it still drains the battery of the Oculus Quest. I would say it's like 5% half an hour. So you cannot play like 10 hour sessions or whatever. <laughs> it, I, I don't know. Um, you, you have to notice that. And also the, the battery gets worse and worse over time. So we have, if you have 200 uh, loadings uh, or charging cycles, it, the, the battery could be worse. This is not the case with the Rift S of course, because it has no battery. The power comes from the PC. Yeah, there, guys, that's it. Um, but uh, let's check out the price. So uh, the Oculus Quest is available for $399 and also the Rift S for $399. It's the same price. And um, yeah, so you cannot make your uh, decision because of the price because it's the same. There's also a, a more expensive 128 gigabyte version, but I don't recommend this. Um, 64 is enough, this is no problem. Um, so yeah, I told you the differences between the headsets. I would totally recommend you, um, if you want to support me, go via my Amazon links under the video. That would be totally awesome. You can support me completely for free. So yeah, if you want to watch movies, if you want to have OLED, if you want to play dark games, if you want to have a mobile experiences, take the headset to your friends. Um, and if you have a lower IPD than 62 or higher than 70, go for the Oculus Quest. If you want to play long sessions, very long sessions, if you like comfort, if you uh, don't want to, to use the battery all the time, uh, and if you want to play multiplayer with microphone, and then go for the Oculus Rift S. Also, if you have big glasses, go for the Oculus Rift S. That's, I hope this is everything you need to know. If not, please uh, check out the description and write some comments if you have further questions. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked it. If yes, give me a thumbs up. Um, consider to support my work because you know this is ultra expensive. I have to buy uh, like 95% of the headsets for myself, also the whole equipment. It's very expensive. Please consider to support me. Thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual reality, guys. See ya.